Welcome back, welcome back to another episode of HGV Talks. I said the right thing this time. Uh, and another week, another Pokemon to talk about. I actually looked one up, which you guys will probably have seen in the thumbnail. But instead of doing just give me random information, I decided to go with a fan favorite and get some information on Delcaddy and just try to get some comparisons and eh, discuss it a little bit. Um... But before we get to that, it's Super Bowl Sunday when this video goes up, which should be a good time. It's going to be my last day of drinking alcohol again for a very long time. Uh, I did the dry January with the exception of a wedding we went to. And I do this beer summit in February. I think I've been talking about it a bunch because I've been complaining about it. Uh, but you do the beer summit where... Drink the list of beers. Me and my wife are doing it. It's, our, it's my 10th year doing it. And I desperately did not want to do it this year, honestly. I really did not want to do it. And where I'm trying to bang it out quick. So it's right now it's the 8th that I'm recording this. I'm recording this and then I'm going to go to the bar and drink four beers or something like that today. Just so stupid. But I'm just, we're almost done with it. I have like three left on my list and my wife has like six le left. I'm a little ahead of her because... I don't know. Her work schedule makes it pretty tough, but the goal is I go there today. I'll do a, one of mine and a couple of hers so that we both only have a couple left. And then we're going to go together on Saturday and we'll finish it together and then we'll be done. Then the Super Bowl's on Sunday. I'm going to be having people over for the Super Bowl. I'll probably have some drinks that day. I don't know. I might not even want to, but we'll see. And then after that, I'm taking another break from drinking because I just feel so garbage. Like this January, I felt so great. I was sleeping so good. And I wasn't even going to the gym, which is the one thing I missed. I was kind of slacking on going to the gym. Um, I kind of hurt my shoulder at one point and I just was adjusting to my wife getting a new schedule. It's like kind of just like a lot going on. And I slacked on the gym big time. But so the combination of not going to the gym plus drinking again is just like making me feel so garbage, making me put on weight again and just don't like it. So I'm looking forward to Super Bowl being done with. And then it's kind of there's like nothing going on. Like after the Super Bowl, there's no football, you know, games to watch, just basketball, which obviously I still love basketball. Um, and then, you know, there's no holidays, no birthdays, like nothing for me to like, you know during like Christmas season, all that stuff like this parties constantly. And it's, you know, it's hard for someone to, you know, stay on a diet or cut down on their drinking. If you know, you got a bunch of parties going on. So, uh, last year I did the whole month of March with no drinking and it felt phenomenal. So that's why I did January this year. And then after February 14th, I want to go until, I don't know. I don't know. I might, I don't know when Easter is. When's Easter this year? Uh, March 31st. I mean, I, I don't know. I really like Easter last year. I didn't drink during it, uh, cause it was during March and I wasn't drinking. Um, and I might not drink again. I don't know. Maybe I'll have a drink on Easter. Who knows? Like, I'm not going like permanently not drinking anymore. That's not something, it's not like the kind of lifestyle I'm trying to live, but I definitely want to cut it down dramatically. And I mean, I've already been doing a good job of that. I've had, you know spurts where I realize I'm kind of going a little too hard but for the most part I've been doing a lot better and I'm just looking forward to another break I really want to like cut down and I want to start going to the gym and like I want to get down like 20 pounds I really want to lose like 20 pounds I'm at like 195 right now or something like that maybe even a little more than that right now because this beer summit oh it's at like 190 before this beer summit started, and I wasn't even going to the gym. It was just from not drinking and stuff. And 190 is, you know, not terrible for me, but I definitely want to be down to like 175. So right now, with the drinking all the beer, I'm definitely probably above 195 or around that right now. So I'm looking forward to being done with this and just, I really, really want to lose weight. I got my rowing machine back there, which has not been used in God knows how long. Uh, but, you know, the weather is getting better. I'll be going out to play basketball more. Um, 
I was playing a lot of basketball last year. Just feeling really good. Um, the only other thing I'm really doing right now is bowling. And my finger is really hurt right now. So it sucks because I've been really doing good bowling. But my finger hurts really bad. I need to take a break. I can't bowl this week. It's going to be the first, only week I've missed this whole year. But it's hurting really bad. I tend to like put too much power into just my ring finger. You're supposed to use you have your middle finger and ring finger, but my ring finger, I notice it does like all the work when it comes to, you know, rotating the curve on the ball. So yeah, I hurt it pretty bad last week. So I'm worried about it. I've hurt this finger before, same way. And it took me like a couple months to get back into bowling. So I'm really hoping that's not the case this time. Uh, but I'm just gonna take the week off. I'm gonna just do a night stream today. It's another thing with this freaking beer summit. It's killing my schedule. It's like my wife is working second shift, so she gets out at midnight. So like last night, you know, she gets out at midnight. I go bring her. I go pick her up. We go to the bar. We stay till two o'clock because we're just trying to get these beers done. And it's like we're not even. It's just three people at the. It's like dead at the bar. It's not like we're having a great time. We just it feels like a, a chore, you know. And it's just a weird. It's a weird vibe. Not really feeling it this year. Um. But yeah, so then I go to bed at 2.30 in the morning. I'm after a couple beers. I'm not sleeping good. It's just, it's just not good. It's not good. So ugh, I'm feeling garbage, but it's spring's coming up. I'm excited for it. I think I'm going to be excited for this spring. I think I'm going to have a good time. I definitely want to play in a basketball league this year. That's a big thing I want to do. Um, There is a sports facility that does... Um, I think it's this one. I think is this the right one? I think it is. Um, but they have tournament. I mean, not tournaments. Uh, they have leagues. And I want to join one. My brother played in one last year. My brother's gotten back into basketball, so. Um, I might look into a league. For that, um, every I've been going to watch my uh, my brother plays on Sunday mornings, and when he plays on the same team as my best friend Tyler, and they've been playing basketball on Sunday mornings in this thirty-five and older league. Uh, my buddy Tyler is thirty-one, but be, they didn't have enough people to fill all the teams, so they asked a couple like you know basketball players that they knew. They're like, "Hey, you want to join this league? Like, you're a good player." So my friend Tyler is really good. So. He joined the team. He ended up on my brother's squad. So it's been cool. I'm going to see my brother. I don't really hang out with my brother ever. So, you know, it gives me a reason to go see him, you know, once a week, watch him play. My brother used to play basketball growing up. He was playing for like the high school team and stuff. And he was really good and got into some trouble and, you know, got off the team and he kind of stopped playing basketball from that point on. So for when he was 17 or something like that, he was really good at basketball. It's like it was his whole life. And then he went to you know, got off track of that and he got off of basketball. But then I think about two years ago, uh, he stopped drinking because he used to work at a restaurant. So he would, you know, restaurant life. If you ever worked in a restaurant, I know someone that worked in a restaurant late nights, usually staying at the bar after the work and having drinks and stuff. And, you know, he definitely, he was out of shape and stuff like that. So, uh, but about, I mean, probably like six or seven years ago, he got a job doing construction and that gave that got him a lot more active and got him in better shape. And then, you know, he eventually just completely cut out drinking. Um, just cold Turkey just one day decided to stop completely. And it's been like, I think like almost two years, if not more that he hasn't had a drink at all. So he's gotten in much better shape. And about last year he started, he found a random basketball league, started playing again. So, you know, it's, he's really coming around <laughs> to, you know, the brother I remember in high school and stuff. So it's, Pretty cool to see. It's fun. And a lot of the people in that league that he plays in on Sundays, you know, were from his high school team and a lot of like the really good players in the city. You know, they're like shocked to see him. They haven't seen him live in the same city as him. Haven't seen him in 15 years. But uh, so it's been fun. And I want to get back more into basketball myself because it's something I used to. Same thing with me pretty much, you know, going through high school basketball my whole life and then, you know, kind of just stop playing and never really get back into it. So. I really want to. So that's something I'm looking forward to. And it's also for the exercise, but the cardio of it is incredible. Basketball is one of the best sports, I feel like, for cardio. It's freaking amazing. All right. 
well, with that, let's get on to the Pokemon of the day. Um, Delcaddy. So Delcaddy is garbage. Um, as a Pokemon, it's. I looked it up. Its base stats were three eighty. Until Gen Seven. They upped it to four hundred. So, mo wait a minute. Hold on a second. So, Pokemon with a base stat of 380. Corsola, Delcaddy, Mawile, Sableye, Swadloon, and Tinkatuff. Mawile and Sableye? That is surprisingly low. Mawile's that bad? Sheesh. I mean, I know it gets the ability huge power, which kind of... Oh my god, these stupid birds, man. Um, I believe it... Oh yeah, it gets huge power for Mega Mawile, which doubles its attack, but it doesn't. It gets Intimidate, so I guess it kind of makes it more defensive, but yikes, Mawile's really bad. I realized I knew it was bad, but I guess Mega Mawile's only halfway decent. I realized how bad Mawile was. Sheesh. Um, and then Sableye. Let me see Sableye. It's a similar type thing. These they're, they're Pokemon that greatly benefit from their uh, typings, though, and their abilities. So like Intimidate, Mawile, Steel Fairy type, really good. And then Sableye's Ghost Dark. Um, wait, yeah. Why is this not working? This whole website's just not working. All right, whatever. Um, but then Pokemon with a base stats of 400, because in Gen 7, they bumped Delcaddy's speed from 70 to 90, making it a little quicker. So now it has the same base stats as Ariados, Chargebug, Cosmoem, which is the pre-evolution of the uh, Solgaleo, Illumise and Volbeat, Kadabra, Whalmer, not even Whale Lord, Whalmer, and Roselia. Uh, another list of pretty bad Pokemon, so... Kind of gives you an idea of how bad Delcaddy is. Uh, obviously, its ability of one uh, normalize is uh, it got a buff at least. In what generation did they make the change? I think it's Gen Seven. In Gen Seven, normal type moves by the Pokemon with this ability now receive a twenty percent power boost. Except moves that cannot be affected by normalize. The boost applies to moves that are originally normal type. Then become normal type. Okay, so it boosts it by twenty percent, which it's not bad. Let me see. I'll do like a quick calc to see how much damage difference the normalize would make. Let me see. Del Caddy with what move do I want to give you? I didn't know if you learn hyper voice. I'm just going to put Hyper Voice just as an example against an Obama Snow. It does 19 to 20. Wait, 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 wait. Abilities Q Charm. It does 19 to 22%. The normalized is just 23 to 27%. That's, not, that's actually not terrible. It's a little nice boost. You know, the fake out. Fake out damage goes from 7 to 8% to. Um. Eight and a half to ten. So I mean a little chip damage does add up, but it's, it's in general it's a pretty bad ability. Uh it's kind of garbage. It's it's not nearly as because normal typing is not super effective on anything. That's the thing that makes it so tough. You know, the other ones like Pixelate that turn all normal moves into fairy moves, or uh liquid voice turns normal moves to water moves, like those types of things. The glaciate, those types of moves, those are super effective things. So, those are really good because you can take a move that would normally not be super effective for a Pokemon and turn it into a super effective move. So, and usually stab for that Pokemon as well. So, Delcat is pretty garbage. Um, I 
really wish there was more to talk about with this guy. Um, the one thing about this Pokemon that for some reason I always forget is that it's a Moonstone evolution. I always want to say it's a Shiny Stone. I don't know why. I just feel like it fits that type of Pokemon. The ones that would use the Shiny Stone, not a Moonstone. But for some reason, it always surprises me when I remember it's a Moonstone. It always catches me off guard. Um, but yeah, the boy Delcaddy. If you guys don't know, Delcaddy is a from one of my. I think it's my first YouTube playthrough that I did. That I. I don't even know if I finished it. Let me actually look. Let me pull up my YouTube. Uh, if you guys go to my YouTube and you go and watch, you go to my old playlists. Let me see. Let me see. Playlists. Got to go a ways back for this one. My Leaf Green Nuzlocke. It's, I did a Pokemon Platinum playthrough. I did not finish it. It's 13 videos. I'm surprised I got that far into it. Uh, then I did the Dragon Ball Z team training videos, which that was, these were live streams that I just uploaded onto YouTube. Because I didn't have enough viewers at the time to really make it worth doing purely pre-recorded videos. And then the Leaf Green Nuzlocke was also live streamed. I randomized it on stream, started playing, and I got a Del Caddy. Let me see. Switch to here. Hitting that button for start. Uh, why am I going to the bag? I wanted to look at Dylan. Let me see. Why, why did I? Carlo, Let me see. For the stream. Oh my god, look at these yeah, old. Yeah. I don't care about being weak to ground if I got a Raikou. Oh. Or do I want freaking hip? Did you give me the Pokeballs? Five Pokeballs. All right. 100 everything. <laughs> you could see the happiness. You could see how happy I was when I encountered this. All right, so we're gonna get our first encounter right now. So I'll give you a little example of how this works. Here it is. Whatever this is, I have to try to catch it. <laughs> I blame Dylan. I blame Dylan. I blame Dylan. 100%. 100%. I think, if I remember correctly, when I was going through this grass. I encountered a couple Pokemon and he said you can end up with a Del Caddy. So I named the Del Caddy after Dylan. And just this was what was the date of this? February 10th, 2021. So in two days, it'll be three years since that happened. This video has 237 views at the time. But yeah. Three years ago, from the time you guys watching this, it would have already broken the three years. I named a Del Caddy Dylan, and since then, it's just it's the it's a one of the mascots of the stream. It's just it's just the way it works around here, um, and you know it's become a meme. You guys always try to make sure it gets on my team if we're doing Nuzlocks, but it doesn't make doesn't change the fact that it's a garbage Pokemon. But regardless, it's got a little special spot in my heart after all this, you know. Uh, I did notice that it's not obtainable in Scarlet and Violet, or Legends Arceus, or Sword and Shield, or Let's Go Pikachu and Eevee, or Sun and Moon. So they haven't had... Oh, excuse me. It's in Brilliant Diamond and Shining Pearl, but that one doesn't really count for me. So... Delcaddy hasn't been... Oh my god, I'm sorry. Hickman. Delcaddy hasn't been in a game since X and uh, Gen 6, X and Y, and Omega Ruby Alpha Sapphire. It has not been in the game. So it's getting no love. That's disrespectful. Get Del Caddy back in the game. But with that, I'm going to wrap this one up. I had a little fun little memory lane trip with a Del Caddy. Uh, go Chiefs. I'm hoping that by the time you guys watch this, I'll know if the Chiefs have won. But if not, there's always next year. And also getting ready for the subathon coming up February 3rd. I mean, 23rd. Um. We got a lot of a lot of good things going. So see you guys in the next one. If you guys got any Pokemon you want to see me do a quick recap of or discuss or give you my opinions on, leave it in the comments. And uh I'll see you in the next one. Peace out.